Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. So I'm in here with my chickens and trying to figure out who is eating eggs because I do have somebody eating eggs in here. Um, I'm not missing a ton of eggs, but I noticed yesterday that I came in to get eggs and I had a hen or I, I had a um I had um there was some eggs see I think it might be that lavender male that sucks cuz <laughs> look at him looking in there. So I caught one hen in there the other day that was doing it and I'm pretty sure she was like she was pecking at some eggs really hard. So I moved her into the other coop. And here's this male over here messing with a hen that's laying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him. So, yeah, look at him. Look at him getting in there. I'm going to remove him. I'm going to grab him up and remove him. Um, one second. Okay, so he's a pretty rooster. He's a, um, a breed that I really like. Brahma and a color that I really like, but I could tell um, what he was doing, and so he had to go. Hopefully, he'll grow out of it. I've had roosters grow out of it. It's usually whenever they are a lower um, in the pecking order, and it sucks because he was in here kind of being a man, but the there's a, a black um, Jersey Giant, which is like not a Jersey Giant. I got, I bought some Jersey Giants, but they're small roosters, um, which they're not supposed to be small. I've had real Jersey Giants, but anyway, there's one, there's one in here somewhere and he came in and I think took over. And so that's why that lavender male was, um, basically getting up to, to no good. Maybe it's a way that they, um, maybe it's a way that they like that they like how lions do how male lions will will kill the offspring that are not theirs like of their enemies and whatnot and if they come into a to a new pride they'll kill the the pre-existing cubs so maybe that's what's going on i don't really know but for some reason he's eating eggs um and so anyway, because it was specifically a blue egg. And the way I knew is because when I got, when I picked up the eggs that were in there, because there was like four eggs that were in there, there was some yolk at the base. And I was like, mm. I was like, that's not normal. That's not the way that it should be. Hold on. Let me close this because this hen is like convinced that she's going to get out. And, um, well, look what we got out there. We got preacher teaching Kubrick some manners out there. Um, but anyway, but, so there was yolk at the, at the bottom of the thing and I was cleaning them because I was like, none of the eggs looked damaged and I was like, what is going on? And then I found just the tiniest little bit of blue shell that was stuck to the egg of one of the other ones. And I was like, ah, <coughs> so it was a blue egg that got eaten. Um... I think the reason I was getting away with it initially was because I had the eggs up off the off the ground, and he um, originally was in a coop where everything was on the ground. So, um, so anyway, a good uh, also another point is that my eggs or my eggs, my chickens were not laying, and I had to do something. I I basically um, this is their food right here, and I bought a. Um, I bought a more expensive brand. I was buying like the cheapest because I, I do my own mixing. So I, I'll add some seed and some scratch. So I figured that it didn't really matter if I got the cheap one because I was adding so much and not 100% relying on that. But um, I uh, and I was still getting some eggs. A lot of people were getting no eggs. I was still getting some eggs, like maybe, you know, two <laughs> eggs a day, something like that. But as soon as I switched over to this food here, I don't know what it's called. I think it's, I forget the brand. I think it's Neutrina. 
all flock. It's like a 20% 20, 20 protein. And so um, I bought I bought that. And I also started giving them some scraps. And I have found that that seems to be the thing. Because the next day I came in and I had four eggs. And I've been averaging between four and five eggs a day now. Um, whereas I only was having two. So it's definitely not the winner. And then another thing that I did... Um, was I, <clears throat> I opened up this door here. Originally it was shut. Um, and only the top portion was open because it's a horse stall. So it's like a half and half. Um, and I opened up the bottom so that they could do, um, so they could get some access to some real sunshine. And so, oh, that's what I've done. Seems to be working. Uh, now that I've removed that one hen that was getting eggs, um, you know, hopefully that solves things. So there's another hen. You see her. She's over there messing around, but let's see what she does. I think she just wants to lay. You see her, you see her bottom kind of, um, yeah, see, look at her. She wants, she's thinking about using one of these other boxes, looking at them. She wants to lay, but there's another hen in there right now. I do want to change my setup. Um, I was going to get, like, egg crates, but then I got these, thinking that that would be better. And now I'm feeling like, no, I should have just got egg crates. So I think I will do that, because they're bigger. And because um, I actually like my hens to go broody, because then I don't have to buy more chickens. And so, <clears throat> um, and so anyway, they're not going broody in these, and I think it's because it's too small. And so, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to get the, the milk crates and um, do it that way. So, what's up, Kubo? Kubrick, what's up, my sweet baby? Do my sweet baby. He's a sweet baby boy. Yes, he is a baby. Well, hello there. I'm anxious to see what happens over here with these two. She's like, it's like, <laughs> look at them waiting. I've already gotten one egg for the day. It looks like we have a line of hens waiting to be able to lay. Oh, there's an Easter egger up there. Those birds right there, man, I'll tell you what. They are, they are something else. The Easter eggers, they lay really pretty eggs, but they're very... Like wild birds is what I'll tell you. They act like wild birds. And even if you clip their wings, they'll still fly like anywhere. Look at her all look at her all poofed up. Look at her. She's like, I'm the woman. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, them lavenders are huge though. Look at that hen, man. She's almost the size of a rooster. It's nice. So I have decided um, that I am going to get some um, some Dexter cattle. I'm going to get a small um, a small herd of Dexter cattle. Probably only um, at the most five. I may get four females <laughs> in one male. And um, and I'm really excited about that. They're they're going to be grass fed. I think I have enough space. Um, for possibly five, I may only do four, like three, three females and one male. <clears throat> Cause I don't, uh, you know, it's not a big deal to me as far as like, I just want to, I just want to be self-sustainable to be able to provide my own food here. Um, between the chickens, the eggs, the beef, you know, and then, um, I want to do gardening and stuff. So I think that we'll very much be self-sufficient here. Um, but anyway, but I like the idea of having enough cattle that, because I think, I think with Dexter's, you'll get like around 200 pounds of meat, um, whenever you harvest them. And, um, and so I think that that would be very helpful for me. Um, I think I could even sell some of it or um, potentially even supplement some of my dog's food with it so we'll see but I'm definitely going to do it um, for sure I'm actually really looking forward to it it's going to be a little bit before I do 
um, cause I've got to reinforce my fencing and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. So this hen over here is just taking forever. Yeah, that rooster's probably getting, he sounds like he's getting beat up over there. There's two, I think two or three other roosters over there. He's just going to have to get his, he's just going to have to get his hierarchy settled. I don't think they're actually going to hurt him. He's just figuring out where he, where he lies in the pack. This guy, I didn't want him in here and I actually clipped his wings to keep him out, but he made his way back in. So whatever. It doesn't matter because I'm not hatching out any of the eggs, but if I was hatching out eggs, I wouldn't want him in here because I don't want his babies. Oh, here we go. Here's another rooster. So I don't like it when roosters pay attention to the nest boxes. I'm going to be honest with you. I find that to be a problem. And so if he starts, if he starts looking like he's going to look for an egg, he's not quite as... Um, obvious about it as the other one was so I'm gonna let him make it for now but um, what I want to do is split up these hens and set up the next um, stall over more like this one where it has nesting boxes and stuff like that um, I also like the idea of the egg crates because the egg crates have, like, you see how he was looking in and he can actually see what's in those nest boxes. I feel like the egg crates would be better because you can't see directly into them like that. You need to be looking, you know, over and into them. And so, um, I feel like maybe that, that would be a better thing to keep them out of the eggs too. Look at these hens just waiting. Everyone's waiting for this Easter egg in there to finish laying. Look at them. So yeah, one by one, I've been removing... I've, I still have... I've still been getting quite a few eggs. So, oh, look at that. So the Easter egg got mad. She... She... So you see how her butt is pulsating over here? This buff Brahma... I think she really wants to have, she really wants to lay. She's looking at these other boxes. She's thinking about it. Because she really needs to lay, you can tell. But she wants that box. She's like, get out of my box. Well, hello, Nirvana. Are you sweet baby Nirvana? Are you sweet baby? Hello. <laughs> Funny girl. Aw, look at her. She's like, you need to hop up out of here. All these boxes, but not the one she wants. Hello! Hello, sweet baby. Hello! Are you a baby? Mm. Come on now, chicken. It don't take that long to lay an egg. Dang. She's in there messing with messing with grass, trying to make it perfect. It might be me in here that's making her uncomfortable, because I'll tell you, these Easter eggers are a little bit more primal than um, than the rest of them. <laughs> so anyway, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my butt back inside and give these guys a little bit of time. <laughs> That's, that's a very weird, that's a very weird crow. So yeah, I'm going to give them some time and then I'll come back out here. Um, I want to make sure that I'm getting all my eggs and that nobody's eating them, which is why I've been out here checking on them, making sure that, that, um, that, that we're not missing out. Yeah, that poor girl. She is she is ready to lay. Oh, look, there's that other one. Let's see if she's going to leave now. She did stand up. Let's see. She's messing with some grass. Some some hay in there. She's messing with it. Oh, 
she sit back down? Nope, she's standing. She's standing in there. She's just messing. She's throwing, she's throwing grass back. Poor girl. This this buff Brahma is like ready to ready to lay. You can tell, man. And look, there's the other one with her head out. Just standing there, taking her look at her throwing the throwing the grass back. Taking her sweet time. Hello, preacher. Hello. What you doing, mate? What you doing, mate? What is it? Look at all these hens. They want to come and lay. And they're like, can you please get out of the bathroom, please? <laughs> It's like there's, it's like there's all these other, it's like a bunch of teenagers. There's all these other bathrooms, but that's the best bathroom. Oh, look, there she goes. She, she actually got out. Let's see what she does. All right, so she stepped out. So I'm gonna step over, and I'm gonna see if she actually laid anything. Yep, there it is. There's my blue egg right there, y'all. That's the one that everybody's been eating. I got it. Yay. My pretty egg. Look at that. Boy, howdy. Look at her. She's still messing with the grass, throwing it back. So here's now the buff girl. She went in. Now she's going to lay. Look at, what is she doing? She's like trying to tuck grass look at that tuck grass into her back or something it's weird boom hmm all right so now she's laying back in there man i saw this when tiktok the other the other day of this egg that I mean, of this egg, of this chicken that um, was in the house. <laughs> and she went over to the sliding glass door and literally just crouched down and just ploop. Egg came out, walked away. It was like nothing. It was as easy as pooping. <clears throat> Let's see. She's just looking out. Yeah, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing that I came in here when I did because that lavender, he would have got this blue egg. I guarantee you he would have got it. <clears throat> she is so weird. What are you doing? She just keeps going and grabbing it and then throwing it back. And I don't and I don't mean I don't mean the Missy Elliott throwing it back either. Interesting bird. Hmm. Anyway. Alrighty, y'all. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Like I said, I'm gonna let these girls do their thing. I think, I think maybe I got it because I'm not seeing anybody else paying um, too much attention to the nest box in a in a way that makes me think they want to eat them. I think these hens want to lay. I don't think they want to. I don't think that they're doing anything wrong. So. Hopefully I got it figured out and that was what it was and um, I'll continue to have eggs and not have anybody eating them. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.